Prototypes are a fantastic way to transform an idea into an inspiring user experience. With Adobe XD, you can build out interactive prototypes in no time and then deliver them on actual devices like a phone, tablet, or a web browser. The Adobe XD team is taking this capability one step further with the new Amazon Alexa integration, which lets you preview voice prototypes on Alexa-enabled devices. To take advantage of this new integration, you'll need to install the new Alexa Preview XD plugin and enable the Adobe XD Alexa skill. Once you add the plugin to XD, you'll be able to export your prototypes directly to the Alexa service and then open your prototype using the Adobe XD skill on any Alexa-enabled device, like the Echo, Echo Dot, or Echo Show. From there, you or your stakeholders can interact directly with the prototype using voice commands and speech responses. And all of this from concept to fully functioning prototype happens at the speed of thought. Let me show you what I mean. I'm here in Adobe XD and I have a nice voice prototype all set up that allows you to book out an adventure trip for the Compass Tour Company. When I select all of the items on the canvas here, you can see that I've defined a wire flow and I have a combination of speech playback and voice commands. If I click here on the first artboard, I can expose what I've done for that speech playback. So Joanna, the dialect that I've chosen, is going to say, hi, Danny. Welcome to the Compass Adventure Tours. How can I help? From here, if I click on that first artboard, I can see that I have a voice trigger defined to transition to that second artboard when I speak the command, which national parks can I visit next month? Because I've set all of these wires to flow throughout the design, I'm ready to now test it on the actual Alexa Echo Show device. To access the Alexa plugin, I went to the interface here and clicked on the icon on the lower left-hand corner that opens up the plugins panel. From there, you can see I have the plugin installed. To do that, I went to plugins here in the upper area and I clicked on this icon here towards the right and I selected the Alexa preview plugin from that list and hit install. Now that I have it installed, I want to let the plugin know which flow of all the artboards I have in this project I want to upload to my device. For that, I'm going to come to that first artboard here and make sure that I've clicked on the icon to the left, setting that starting point for the flow. With that all set, I'm going to click on the Alexa preview plugin. And from here, I get a step wizard that's going to take me through the process of uploading the design. Notice that I can thumb through all of the individual artboards that are in the flow to confirm it's what I had in mind. When I click continue, I'm offered an opportunity to either delete any existing prototypes I might have uploaded or actually update an existing prototype that I've already delivered. I'm going to go ahead and create a new prototype. So I'm going to export new prototype and I'll give it a name. And I'll click export. From here in a matter of seconds, I've uploaded the prototype directly to the Alexa service and I'm now ready to engage with my Alexa hardware device. Let's go ahead and switch over to that device. I'll begin by opening up the Adobe XD skill using a simple voice command. Alexa, open Adobe XD. Your available prototypes are Compass Adventures, Bloom, and Trivia. Which prototype would you like to open? So I get a nice list of all the prototypes that I've uploaded. Compass Adventures. Hi, Danny. Welcome to Compass Adventure Tours. How can I help? Using voice commands, I can advance through the prototype. Which national park can I visit next month? Yosemite, Antelope, Joshua Tree, and two others are all available next month. Would you like one of these? What's available for Yosemite? There are a number of tours available in April for Yosemite National Park. On April 12th and April 24th, which one would you like to book? Notice that I have a series of hints on the bottom of each of my artboards. This makes it easier for my stakeholder to understand which commands they can use. If I were really doing a usability study, I'd suppress those hints so that I could test how usable the design actually is. At any time, I can exit from the prototype using another command. Alexa, exit. 
Now this is where the marriage of XD and Alexa really start to shine, and then I can go back to my computer and in XD start to iterate on the design based on feedback from that usability study or requests from the stakeholder. In a matter of seconds, I can upload those changes to the server and have them running here on the device very, very quickly to do further testing. I encourage you to give this new capability a try.